Hey guys, and welcome to this review of the 5 inch trigger of the Graphite Ranger. So, here's all that it comes with. But before I get to the figure, let me just set him down because he's probably gonna fall eventually. Uh, let me show you his bio. So, there's the picture of him and the bio. Princess Philip admires the Power Rangers and aspires to be like them so much that he embarks on a quest to find his own inner gem and become a Ranger too. Yeah. So, there's the bio for him. Doesn't really sound anything like uh cure roger i honestly forgot the name of uh cure you gray but that's not the point it's it looks like it's gonna be different i imagine sort of like a prince or something notices the rangers i mean it does say prince so yeah he notices the rangers and kind of aspires to be like them sets so to find the energies and all that but uh let me show the weapons first they are the same as the main 5 inch trigger uh, weapons, the sword and the gun, except they're translucent. That's pretty much the only difference. Sorry for my bad fingernails. I'm terrible at that. But there's the revolver. Translucent. You actually couldn't see it that well, but here's the peg that goes on the side. Let me just show you the other side. Pretty cool. The only difference is that it's translucent. It doesn't look too bad. Now for the sword. Same thing. This one's a little bit bent. And it can't really be avoided. Unless you rip open the packaging in order to get it unbent. But if you care about the packaging. You're pretty much going to get it bent. Because of the way it's packaged. So there it is. Other side. I mean, if you don't care about the package, you could get a knife and cut around it, since it's sort of the way, it's sort of put. So if you try to get it out, yeah, you'll like bend it. So a bit bent, but I I don't care too much, since I I might display this without the weapons anyway, because in Cure Roger, and probably because of the of Cure Roger, he's most likely not going to use the weapons so I mean if he does that I, I have no problem with that but I'm probably just going to pose him sort of in a cool pose without him articulation wise 360 around the head uh, a bit hindered by the shoulder pad this is movable also it's packaged the shoulder pad thing to be a little bit up like so I forgot which ranger but one of the other rangers was packaged like that too and because of it, this doesn't go all the way down. But in this one, it looks like it has no problem. I mean, you see that I can push it a little bit more, a little bit more down. But like, it's not that big of a deal. I forget which ranger that was packaged like that too that I had a problem with. You can move it up and still have the same articulation around the shoulder. Single elbow joint. You can move the fist around. Hip. Not really a hip. Uh, I guess I don't know. I don't know my body parts. Single knee joint, and you can sew with the foot. Uh, now, the main problem with this is the hands for me. While I was trying to get it in the pose for the thumbnail, I was thinking of putting the sword in the other hand or switch, switching the weapons around. But the gun would not fit into this hand. Your mileage may vary with the one you got, but for mine, the fist are like really close together you have to really separate them see this is a bit separate but that's because i already put the weapons in before this video and they were just really close as i was trying to get this on the hand let me see if i can try again like i'm probably gonna do it flawlessly now because i said all of this it's really difficult there we go okay see now i can do it perfectly but be careful because while trying to do that, I, I don't want to do it again so I don't make this loose. But I took this part, basically the cuff, the whole white part off of the figure. I mean, I didn't break it obviously because I put it back. But that came off so be careful when putting on the weapons. Uh, that could happen if you want to be careful about, you know, basically destroying the figure. So be careful about putting the weapons in which hands and try to open them up a bit beforehand since I did have trouble with it paint wise it's pretty decent 
just like the other figures. So, painted pretty good in the front. I was about to say the back. In the back, this is not painted, but no biggie, no biggie. Honestly, it would, yeah, it would be better, but not that bad. I just want to do a close up of the helmet. So, there it is. And that's pretty much it for the review. Uh, again, the only gripe I have of, of this is the hands because I did freaking break this off. But hopefully that won't happen again since I might, let me see, maybe I can pose it something like in a fighting pose or uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to do something. I'm looking at the back of the box right now and he's posed like this. Punching the air. So. Aha. Uh -huh. Like. Th th that. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm bad at posing him right now. But, well, that's a pose. But that is it for this review. Hope this was helpful. And I would recommend him if you want to. Whoop. Whoop. Show any. Uh, any. Uh, I can't think of the word. I guess just to have a graphite or a sober, not a sober, graphite ranger in your collection. But that is it for this review. See you in the next one. <laughs>